On One, the count of three. Two, three, cut. make sure that we can add more housing, that we can plan for this uh, this transit green line coming in, and that we could plan for the land use opportunities that the transit would bring to Somerville. And so that it would benefit all, that it would benefit Somerville residents too. It was awesome. It was very exciting. My first ride was at 4.50 a.m. this morning. So it was good. Yeah. Can you tell me about your train ride? <laughs> well, today we rode from Union Station all the way to Lechmere and back. Do you we like trains? What's your favorite train? The green line. <laughs> that's a good answer, the green line. Oh, that's fantastic. Man, how was your ride this morning? It was great. I've had two rides and I can't get enough. I'm like a little kid wanting to ride the trains. I was here for the first ever train ride out of Union Square to, uh, into Boston. Stopped at Leechmere at uh, 4.50 a.m. How long have you been waiting for this train? Decades. And uh, more than two decades as mayor. And as a kid growing up in the community, it's been a long time. A lot of talk over the years, but it's been for me, uh, professionally and emotionally, 20 years almost of uh, every day advocating along with the community, fighting like hell to make this happen. Anything else I should add? No, I want to make a big shout out to the people of Somerville, advocates, activists, business owners, residents. This only happened because the people of Somerville would not accept anything less than the Green Line and they fought like hell for it. Kudos to you. Who 
who have played a part in making this moment happen and bringing us all together. And I know we're all thrilled to see the station open and already operating as of this morning uh, to serve the residents, the visitors, and the workers of Somerville and the Commonwealth. Because today, for the first time, thousands of Cambridge and Somerville residents can board Green Line trains and travel to Boston and the rest of the MBTA network, enabling them to take advantage of new economic opportunities while promoting safer and cleaner modes of transportation. The green in the green line is a money line. This station will connect workers to jobs, to businesses, and communities to the larger regional economy. And it will also significantly reduce vehicle trips and fossil fuel emissions, which benefits the environment while relieving traffic congestion and providing new transportation options in historically underserved areas. Our Commonwealth is about to receive once in a generation federal funding. If we build a stronger future, we need to use a portion of that money to right past injustices and to prioritize communities that have been shortchanged. For, year, for, year trans, for many years, transportation systems in the Commonwealth and across our country have perpetuated disparities, forcing many of our low-income neighbors to pay more, to endure long commutes, to lose out on pay and family time. Access to safe, reliable, and inclusive modes of transportation are a matter of social justice. Now, just last week, the U.S. Census Bureau released data showing that folks in Massachusetts have the fourth longest commute times in the country and the third highest use of public transportation. So the Green Line Extension Project will support 50,000 passenger trips per day once completed. So the need is here, and we need to continue expanding these transit, transit options that our neighbors have been called upon, that will improve their lives and the benefit of our communities at the same time. Again, congratulations to everyone. When this project is fully completed, residents of Somerville and Medford will be able to get across their neighborhoods in Boston to jobs, family, and entertainment with no or minimal transfers and shorter wait times. It is my hope that this is not an end, but it is a beginning and a step to a more fully connected region and a commonwealth where we all have the freedom to get to where we need to go. Congratulations, truly a great day. Okay. All right, Somerville Media Center. Thank you so much for 29 years of uh, uh, community service. Right? 39 years. Oh, 30? Oh, wow. Okay, all right, let me get it together. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you, two, one. Somerville Media Center, happy, happy birthday, and thank you for 30 nine years of service to community. We appreciate you so very much, and we look forward to 39 more years. Happy birthday, SMC.